What is going on everybody and welcome to episode number 12 of our Crystal Palace FIFA 16 career mode and today we've got a very very exciting episode because we've got Southampton in the Capital One Cup quarter final, a real chance for us to win some silverware in our first season at Crystal Palace but then playing Stoke in the Premier League after that who are actually riding really high in the Premiership at the moment as well so today should be a very exciting episode but before we get into it I just want to say Huge thank you. We went over 400 subscribers yesterday. I think it was just after I'd recorded the first Need for Speed video. So that's absolutely amazing. We also recently went over 40,000 total uh, total video views, which is pretty incredible as well. So thank you very much for your fantastic support. Like, in my mind, uh, it would be amazing. I don't know if we'd be able to do it if we could get to 500 subscribers before Christmas. That would be incredible. So like always, lads, if you do enjoy the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up on it. Do subscribe if you're new around here and make sure you put any feedback and anything you want to say to me in the comments down below. Also, I don't say often enough, make sure you follow me on Twitter as well, at NidgeT91 on there to get in touch. But um, yeah, Southampton is the first game. We are, of course, without Johan Kaboy. He got injured in the last episode. This is the team that we're going with. We're playing a full strength team, even though we got a, the game at the weekend against Stoke. So this is like a midweek game, obviously, with it being the cup. I still want to go full strength and see if we can take on Southampton, get ourselves into the semi-final of the cup that will be absolutely amazing and hopefully like i say a chance at winning, winning some silverware but um let's jump into the game hopefully we can get into some semi-final lads let's go so this is the southampton team landing you can see they've not really rested anybody at all pella playing up top tadic davis there's no mono which is nice but it is still a very very strong team we are away from home which usually i would say is a bad thing but our away form seems to be really solid this season, possibly even better than our home form. So fingers crossed, with the team that you're seeing pop up now, we can come away with, not with the three points, because this is a cup game now, but with a win and that passport into the semi-final. Do you play it semi in the semi-final? I think you might actually play at Wembley in the Capital One Cup as well. I can't quite remember, but um, or it might be two legs. I might be getting mixed up, I can't remember. But um, yeah, let's go into the game, let's, let's see if we can pull the win through our, uh, through what? I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. Let's just get into the game. Like to this. One more to Wickham. Pull the trigger. Oh, he's blocked it. First half chance of the game there. Oh, God, we've got to watch Pella now. He's making the runs inside the box. Come on. No, not low. No, 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 no. No. Well played, McCarthy. God, I thought the danger had gone. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. What a finish from there as well. We've been defending so bloody well. They get half a chance. Is it Ward Press? It is, and he took it so flipping well. Look at this. We're holding such a solid line on the box there. Great ball across. Great first touch as well because it's fizzed at Ward Press, and the keeper is not saving that in a million years, I don't think. Oh, we've been unlucky not to go ahead ourselves as well, lads. That is a fucking piss take. Come on, we can still do this. We can still do this. Well played. Oh my god, that's a fantastic ball. Please, a phobie. Please, penalty! How is that not a penalty? What the fuck? Well, 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 lads. Half time, we're one 0 down. Southampton haven't done too much for the kept the ball well, and we've defended quite well. You can see they've had a lot more shots than us, to be fair, and they probably deserve to be ahead. But we've also had a couple of good chances, and that penalty. Well, the non-penalty, I should say. I don't know how that wasn't a penalty right at the end of the first half. But um, we need to keep on plugging on. We're not playing badly, despite what the stats suggest here. We've got some. We've got like a chance. We're just getting on the edge of the box, and that's why we miss Kaboy because we've not got a fantastic long shot taker. And the one really good chance we did have. Bell to Yedinak, who of course is in instead of Kaboy, and you'd like to think Kaboy would have took it, but um, 1 0 down, we need to turn it around, lads, let's go. This could be it. Oh, no, I thought we were going to get one more attack. I'm gutted. I am actually gutted. I thought we could get a really nice cup run going in this competition, but Southampton played the best, to be fair, pulled out the 1 0 win. They were so resolute at the back, and Tadic and Ward Prowse in the middle were absolutely bossing the game. We really struggled to get efforts away on goal because we just got to that defensive line. And I just kept on stopping it every single time. You can see they had a couple of shots more than us in the end. Come on with a 1-0 win. Oh, and like I said, gutted. I really thought we could go in and do well in the Capital One Cup. But never mind. We've got to take our mind off it now because we're going up against Stoke. Who, like I said before, are actually doing really well in the league. So then, lads, after that really disappointing result away at Southampton, we're now actually going to a just as tough again, really, away against Stoke. And I know I said they were riding high, but I don't think I realised quite how high they are riding. Not only are they second in the league, if they were to beat us today, they would actually go top of the Premier League, which is absolutely crazy. We're sitting in fifth place, which is also fantastic. Again, if we win, there's teams above us that have played more and not won, so we could actually jump up a couple of places ourselves. But Stoke away is not going to be an easy game. 
In the mail as well, we've had this little message about risk of losing seven players. There's not too many there that I'm too fussed about keeping, to be honest, because of the wage bill. I might keep Hangeland as a backup to the backup, and I might potentially keep Mariapa because he's a bit of an all-rounder as well, because he can play centre-back and right-back. But I think the rest of them there can go and then... I don't think that's the McCarthy, our goalkeeper. I think that's a different McCarthy. But all the others, yeah, I think, I think they can go. So um, it'll free up a bit of wage for us. And hopefully we can bring in some better players with that. But we're going to jump straight into this game now. Going with the exact same team that we played just in the cup. Hopefully we can get a bit of a better performance out the lads this time. And uh, get the three points. Let's go. So this is the Stoke City team that's uh, got the chance of going top of the Premier League. I was expecting to see some perhaps big signings in there. And of course I bought in the locks of Shakiri this season in real life. Which is a great signing. But uh, they've got Andy Carroll up top. I think we played Stoke before and I remember mentioning it, but there doesn't seem enough there to warrant them being as high as they are in the league. Maybe they're just in blinding form, who knows, but um, this isn't going to be an easy game, lads. If we come out with a point in this, I would actually be pretty happy about right, Stoke in the form they seem to be in. So, uh, yeah, let's jump into the game. Afterlight's put one in there. Carroll is, of course, going to be the danger man here. Oh, my God, he's hit the bar. First sighter of Andy Carroll being a bloody beast there. Oh, poor touch. Come on, capitalise, capitalise. Well played, Afobi. Superb. Ben Wickham, going to go back to a Furby, that is great link up play, surely this has to be 1-0, yes, 1-0 up, away against high flying Stoke City, that is absolutely awesome link up from Benny Kofobi and Connor Wickham, I almost forgot what his bloody name was then, he, win it. he wins it really, really well, look at this for a cheeky ball though from bloody Connor Wickham, that is superb and we didn't panic, finessed it into the left hand side of the goal, keeper didn't stand a chance, and finally we hit a goal in this episode. I thought we were going to go, go a whole episode of that bloody scoring, but it's a tidy finish, you know. Shea Given not getting anywhere near. I don't know where Jack Butland is for Stoke. I don't know if he's got, been sold or what, but uh, Given couldn't get there. Couldn't get there, sorry. And we are 1-0 up. Now he's going towards Biran Doof this time. No! There was no... Oh. There was no danger. We actually won the bloody initial corner with so easily and then we nod it down straight into the path of Mama Beer and Doof god damn it 1-1 one, one. that is such a soft goal Jesus Christ he finished it well to be fair but there shouldn't have even been a chance in the first place oh my god what's all the heavy passes they're doing but we'll take him we'll take him because Benny Kofobe can we play him over the top we can go on great touch oh he's took it so well as well we're two on up what an end to the first half we're having here we scored in like the 35th minute-ish. Stoke equalised not long after him. We've got yet another goal. This time the link-up becomes the other way around. A phobe turning provider. Absolutely beautiful ball over the top. Connor Wickham takes it down absolutely perfectly though. And finishes it really well. I think it's Connor Wickham. Is it Connor Wickham? Surely it is. Who else would it be? It is Connor Wickham. Yes, of course. Of course it is. Anyway, 2-1 up. Get in there. Oh god, he's never actually going to come out with that, is he? That may have been a little bit rash, lads. Please don't send me off. I know it's from behind. I thought I'd actually got the ball. <laughs> what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Eric Dyer takes the long walk down the tunnels. It's been the 45th minute for so long as well. I thought I had it and I was trying to like knock it forward just to end the half and then he nailed him. But oh, it was always going to be a red, wasn't it? That is... A bit of a piss out, to be honest. We're going to make a challenge when it gets to half time because we're pretty much there now. Was it Eric Dyer that got sent off for us before? I know we've had a player sent off already this season. I don't know if it was Dyer though. So there's half time, lads. We had Eric Dyer sent off right on the stroke of it there. That's like just poor for me, to be honest. I don't know why I even did it. But 2-1 um, up. So we have got something to defend. We are going to make the change. We're going to take off uh, Connor Wickham. And we're going to bring on... Have we got Mariapa down here or someone like that? We've got Hennessy. Yeah, we have got Mariapa. So we'll chuck Mariapa on the bench, from off the bench. He's going to fill in at centre-back. We're going to stick with the same formation. We're going to go ultra-defensive. But I am going to chuck on uh, Bertrand Traore midway through the second half for a bit more energy on the counter. But um, hopefully we can hold on. But this is not going to be easy, lads. Get that down the line. Come on. That's the one. Balassi. That's who we need there. Yes, Yannick. Yes, Yanni. Oh my and god, what's gonna happen? Into here. He's oh my god, he's been absolutely relaxed. He just about got to the ball before the defender. And my god, doesn't he know about it? Because he just got absolutely flipping nailed and he's gone down in the booking for that as well. Gone down in the book, sorry. Oh, and again, this is great play. We're just getting to those second balls at the moment. Can we get that through to a phobie? Come on, a phobie. Gonna have to take it on. Oh, it's really unlucky. No, no, no. Good defending, not so good defending, not so good defending, not so good defending, no! Oh, you bastard. He's going up to the camera as well. Piss off, doof. 
We've done so well in this second half, being as though we got 10 men, lads. But that is why Stoke are flying high in the league, I suppose. They kept on picking and picking and picking, and eventually they've got through. First time they've really had a clear-cut chance in the whole second half and have taken it really well. I just couldn't quite get the foot in there. I thought he was going to shoot from range, and he didn't. We've just bought on Birch and Triora, so we have got a bit more pace on the counter now, but I will still take a point, especially considering we're down to 10 men here against a team that are doing so well. 15 minutes we've got to hang on, though. Let's see if we can do just that. Come on, boys. Stay strong. Stay strong. This is nice football from Stoke. No, Andy Carroll. Great save. Jesus Christ. I couldn't get near him. There we go, then, lads. 2-2 two, two draw away at Stoke. I said at the start of the game I'd take it. A bit disappointed after we went 2-1 up, but being as though we were down to 10 men, I am more than happy to take a point there at High Flying Stoke. They've got some, like, Andy Carroll, who's not the most amazing player in real life, an absolute handful on FIFA because he just seems to win everything. But, um, we went part of the buzz pretty much for the entire second half because we were down to 10 men. And it worked a treat. You can see Stoke only had the one shot more than us and we kept them at arm's length for the majority of the half. But the one chance that they did really create, the one one and one that they got, they did take. And, uh, that meant the draw. Let's just have a look what that does to the league table now. That's the only question. So you can see, lads, we are still sitting in fifth place. However, Chelsea are the team above us in fourth. They've actually played a game more. So if we win our game, we would still jump into the top four, which is pretty crazy to think, really. But uh, 16 games in, where we are, I am more than happy in the league. Really disappointed with today's result against Southampton in the Cup. Wanted to do well there, but uh, what can you do? Southampton played us off the park, to be honest. And um, yeah, hopefully we can pick up some wins in the next episode, because this is the first episode in a long, long time that we've gone without getting a win. But if you did enjoy the video, like I said earlier, Make sure you throw a big thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're around here. And uh, have a good weekend, lads. I'll speak to you all on Monday. Have a good one. Need you out. In the Civic, hopefully, it'll be a pretty nice car. I know that from previous Need for Speeds when it's been on them, it's pretty nice to do up. So hopefully, we can do some good work with this. But, um...